supposed to in this question right you're supposed to identify the nets of the solids write the letter of the net in the table so looking at this you know that we are looking for a cube which of this is actually a cube can be folded into a cube out of these figures uh, you can see all these figures here which of these can be folded into a cube right so now jack what do you think is the answer F can be folded into a cube. Cube. Yeah, do you hear what your friend said? That F is not even a cube boy. Jack, tell me, which one is a net of a cube? The rest of you, while he's doing it, y'all can think about it as well. Huh? There's only limited options actually, right? If it's not A, it must be B, right? If it's not B, it must be A, right? There's only two choices, right? You know how it's a cube, right? Right? Hmm? It's a? A or B? Or is it A and B? You sure? Yeah. Clarence, is it A and B or is it just B or is it just A? Okay, the answer is B, okay? Do you all agree? Yeah. Okay. Now, a cuboid. Kaden, is F a cuboid? Why is it F is not a cuboid? Tell me a very obvious reason why F isn't a cue boy. And you must say it loud enough so that uh, Jack can hear you. Gabriel, what's my question? What are you talking about? Say the one is the cuboid, then say what Jack this that. I say which one is the cuboid? Did I say that? Did I say that? You forgot. Your mind isn't even here. How do you even remember? Busy admiring of own fingers, right? Yes or no? Yes? Yes? Busy admiring your own fingers, right? Draw it with a pencil, ruler. Thank you. Kaden, answer me please. You don't answer, you may get another one of your classmates in trouble who's not who's already dreaming just now. So Kaden, it's up to you to save them. You don't want to save them. Ernest, repeat my question. Yes, okay, state an obvious reason why F is not a cue boy. Okay, then definitely you know the answer. Give me the very obvious reason. Because Jack doesn't know the reason, he thinks that he's a cue boy. So, so we need to educate Jack on this. Oh, okay, that's even worse. Okay, Isabel, tell me. Because he has only four what? F got four faces. <laughs> huh? Because he only has five faces, right? Yes or no? Q boy have how many faces? Isabel. 
6. So we know that f is definitely wrong. Check. Do you understand or not? Yes. No way. Now, so which one is the cuboid? Kaden. Sorry? H and? H and I. Do you all agree with him? Okay, let's write it down together. H and I. Yes, why? Of course, I didn't take it. What do you want to take your pen for? Uh, I think I passed it to you directly. I don't remember putting it into your pencil case. Why? I remember you said you let me go there. I didn't take your pen. Uh. You can check. And you can check my bag. I really didn't steal your pen. Really, really. Check it! Now! Quick! I won't hit you for ch checking it. Come in, please. Oh no, can you see? Can you see? Later, you, you see the chopped fingers that I chopped off from my students. <laughs> Hey, I was kidding. Check, check, check. Come. No, I nah, really, they have to, I didn't chop off my students' fingers, okay? So don't worry about it. Okay. Right. Hey, you want check or not? Really, really. You never open out the zip. I've got a lot of hidden compartments inside. Really, really. Really. Yeah, really a lot of hidden compartments so that I can hide all the chopped tongues and everything else. You know, some of my, my uh, students, they, they, they talk a lot, so I need to chop off their tongues. Right. Okay, next. Okay. Next. Uh, Gabriel, tell me your answer. Prism. So, which one is a D? Any other thing other than D? Any possibilities other than... D. Any possibilities? Do you all agree with him? There's only one answer. Yeah. Okay, very good. D. And lastly, pyramid. Damil, which one is a pyramid? Huh? E only, or is there multiple answer? Is there more than one answer, or is there only one answer? Do you all agree with him? Yep. E only, there's only one answer. Good. How come what? Okay, the, the, the who was asking, Ra was asking, why is it G is not? Because you see, look at the triangular sides, right? There's only three sides, yes or no? But you get, got. Uh, four rectangular faces is impossible, right? One of the rectangular faces will actually overlap. Do you all agree? Okay, so we are done with this. Anyone has any problem? Yes? C. Wait. C is not. C is a triangular pyramid. Yes, true. Okay, C is a triangular pyramid. So C is a possible answer as well. And just now, Yong Tian, you are asking? Why is J not a prism? Can you flow into a prism? Yeah, J is also possible. J is possible to be a prism. Okay. Because you can actually fold up, right? If you think that... You can actually fold up. Okay. Prism, uh, let's uh, look at some of our previous question, okay? Let's look at some of the... One of, this, uh, one of the prism is this, right? Yes? Okay. Where you only have three sides to it, right? And the other one, I think, uh, do we have something else? 
at the front, right? This is also a three-sided, yes? But I think on the first page, also we have... Yeah, do you have see something like that? Okay. Right, so there's uh, quite a few possible answers for this. Okay, then uh, anything you all want to add for this? If not, then let's move on to the next. Chapter 10 review. We are supposed to name and draw each solid. I think uh, drawing wise, I'll let you draw it on your own. You know how to draw it out, right? Yeah. Let's uh, identify it for the first one. The first one is called uh, sky. Cylinder. Sky, how to spell cylinder? D A R E R E R. Okay. The drawing, please draw on your own. Okay. I leave some space for you to do a drawing. Okay. Jack, what's the next one called? Q boy, how to spell? B O I D or I O D. O I D. Yeah. Gabriel, what's the next one called? Don't joke with me, uh, you don't know. You don't know. You don't know you are going to draw this out 20 times for me. Uh. There's only limited solids we learn. Prism. You see, children work best under stress. Okay? When you give them a very stressful condition, then suddenly they know all the answers. Yeah. So the next one, the last, this is known as an ice cream what? Cone. Cone. I believe all of you know it. Okay. Good. Let's look at the next page. Okay, look at each net. Circle the letter of the solid. Circle the letter of the solid are formed by the net. So Vikram, tell me what's the answer. Vikram A right Do you all agree it's A Because of four triangular faces right Okay Circle the letter right This ask you to circle the letter right If you circle the whole figure You better erase it And do it properly Next Okay looking at this Now Elliot Tell me which is the correct one? A, B, C, or D? Elliot? Colin out, don't be a busybody. Do you agree with him? A, because uh, A also have two triangular faces and three rectangular faces as well, right? Total faces add up to five. Okay, then next question. Okay, Jing Jie, tell me what's the answer. C. The only person that can get this wrong, I think, is Jack. <laughs> because you say it's B. Yeah. Next. Okay. Identify the net of the solid from the given uh, nets and complete the table. So let's they give you an example. So let's look at A. What's the name of A, Kathleen? Cuboid. So please write it together, Cuboid. Shape of faces, Lauren, tell me. Four triangles. <laughs> huh? Four rectangles only? It doesn't look like a square to me. 
Okay, six rectangles. Uh. I mean, I don't think that Lauren is completely wrong. I'm not talking about the part when she says triangles. Uh. I'm talking about <laughs> if you write four rectangles and two squares, maybe. But then in this case, since they never mark out the, the equal sides, right? We try to write six rectangles, okay? If they mark out equal sides, then we write four rectangles, two squares. Yeah, so uh, beyond is correct as well because from the net of the solid, we know that it cannot be squares. So we must write six rectangles. So the so beyond, which uh, net is that? C. C. Okay, now, uh, Charlotte, tell me what's the name of the solid? solid? What type of pyramid is this? Triangular pyramid, right? Please, spelling, please spell correctly. Uh. So, shapes of faces, Ashley. Four triangles. Alexis, tell me which net is that? A. Good. Next, Danish, tell me what's the next solid figure? A cube. A cube. Now, since it's a cube, Chen Hao, what's the shapes? Uh, six, six squares. Sky, tell me the letter. Sorry? <coughs> B. Okay. So, for D, for D, okay, Araki, tell me, what shape is this? Pyramid. Pyramid. And then, Caroline, tell me what are the shapes? Four triangles and? Uh, maybe it's a one rectangle. We will not be able to conclu conclude it's a square, okay? Can? So one rectangle, okay? To be safe. Uh, I think we can just write rectangle unless they mark it out as equal size. Okay, so this letter is, what letter, Clarence? D. Everyone okay with this? Oh, sorry. No, Jack is trying to be picky. Okay, Jack is trying to be picky. But I totally understand, he just wanted to seek revenge. Okay, next. Question four. Which of the solids can be formed by the net shown? Kaden. D. Are you sure it's D? Very sure. Explain why. Explain. The solid what? Certainly you can explain or not. Just say whatever you want to say. Okay, I think it would be better if you can just say that D has six faces and the net also has six faces. That's one thing. Another thing is, like what you said, you can describe the shape. Okay, but not very certain whether it's a square or a rectangle. It's okay. Yeah, but it's it's shorter. We can, I think for this side, this thing we can really quite safely conclude that it's a square. Okay, we can really quite safely conclude that it's a square. Okay, so you can say that D, then you can write down it has six faces. Full stop. Two faces are squares and four faces are rectangles. 
Okay. It is quite hard to write actually. Mm, too bad you are slow. You can spell it out if you want to. Okay. Done? If not, I'm going to move on to the next question. Uh, who still needs it? Uh? Okay. Right. Done? Okay, let's move on to the next question. Jamie's mother baked a square birthday cake for her to bring to school for a class party. Which of the following figures can Jamie fold to form the most appropriate box for the cake? So it's a square birthday cake, right? That means, in other words, the cake is in the shape of a cube, right? Most probably. Most probably. Right? So which is the most possible net for the cake okay which is the most possible net for the cake uh, can we B do you agree with him yes. okay so B it cannot be A why why can't it be A because only, have only have five faces right it cannot be C because it is uh, supposed to be a square birthday cake right okay right it cannot be D because uh, D is a prism so explain why the other figures are not as appropriate okay so we shall maybe you can just circle the answer b then you can write for part a because we want to explain why the other figures are not as appropriate okay yeah okay it is missing one face Okay, it has only five faces, also can. Then C, why is it wrong? Okay. Oh, sorry, it's C. Then you can say that uh, it is suitable for a rectangular cake. Yep. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so now I'll kill but I think I'll just write is a suitable for a rectangular cake. Then uh lastly for D you can write down that it is the net of a rhizome. Okay, can. Let's look at, uh, I'll give you some time to write it out. <coughs> okay. Can we move on to the next question? Next. Okay, the four squares are part of net. Complete the net in three different ways. So, when you need to complete the net, please, uh, you need to use a uh, pencil. pencil, okay? So you can complete it in many different ways, okay? I'm going to show you some of the ways in which you can complete it, right? This one, you can do it. I give you some time. Why don't you all take some time to do it, okay? Yeah. Yeah, make sure that when you draw it out, Sorry? Of course. Uh. What are you trying to say? Are you? Yeah, you need to use ruler.
No, I'm drawing, you just want to complete the net in three different ways. I'm going to draw, there's actually many different ways. There's actually 11 ways. So I'm just drawing out three for you. There's many different answers. I just want you to explore your own different answers. So you can do your own. Okay. <coughs> you also do your own, right? Wendy, you're not supposed to copy mine, right? Sorry? Yeah, it's okay. Once you're done, please put down your pencils and ruler so that we can check the possible answers together, okay? Any different answers? Once you are done, please. Uh, all together, there are eleven nets all together. Okay. So these are the 11 different nets. If you do have something like this, most probably it's wrong. Because these are the only 11 available nets. That does not, that's not, does not repeat itself. Okay, you don't need to draw all, you just need to draw, draw three. Yeah, the, the tree must be one of the three inside these 11 nets. Okay. I'm giving you a chance to double check. Okay, if you, yours is not one of those there, most probably it's wrong. These are all the original starting shapes. Okay. 
these are the original starting shapes. So there's actually that few answers you can have. Okay, you see what I've done. I already marked out what is the starting shape for you. The rest couldn't be one of the answers. Okay, the rest cannot be one of the answers. Yes? Yeah, that's good. This is correct. You see? You look at the middle last. That's what you're drawn, what? Correct? The middle last is the one that you're drawn, right? Correct? Yeah. That's why I say yours is correct. Yes, uh, Damiel? The mark of the original one, is it? Uh, I think uh, you can use a uh, cross to mark out the original one, okay? Yeah, I think it is much easier. Okay, what I mean by mark out the original one, these are the four original ones. Hold on now, Ernest. Did you compare with mine or not? Yeah, I can see it. But is there any repeated ones? Do, do you have any repeated ones? Don't you think that these two are a repeat of each other? Do you think that these two are a repeat of each other? Are you okay with it? Anyone need me to go through anything? Are you clear? Uh, Ernest, do you understand what I mean when it repeats? Or not? Can you see it for yourself? Yeah. Okay, please do not give me uh, duplicates, okay? Right? It must be unique. Each net must be unique. And there's only a few possible answers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 possible answers to this question. Not all the answers are, uh, not all the nets are applicable in this case. Okay? Ken? Anyone has any problem? If not, then I'll move on to the next question. Gabriel, can I move on? Oh, uh, no. Ken? Kathleen, can I move on? Okay, let's move on to the next question. Later, I'll let you give you some time to improve on it, okay? Don't worry about it. I'll give you some time to improve on it later. Okay, looking at this question, the figure shows the cube ball and its net. Fill in the missing lengths on the net. Okay, so not very tough. I think uh, one thing we can definitely see is that this 8cm is definitely the 8cm here, right? Correct? So here. Yep. And then uh, we know that this is the longer side, right? 5, right? And this is the shorter side, this is the 4, right? Correct? Yes? Anyone has any problem so far? And if this is 5cm, do you agree that this is 5cm as well? Yes. 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 And the other must be? 4cm. Correct? Okay. Agree? Yes. Anyone has any problem with this? I'm going to stop here and I'm going to give you some time to improve on the worksheet. Okay? okay.